Yes. I'm going to describe this, and this is just me, uh, and, um, but, you know, and this is what Hawkins said as well, and I think a lot of people say as well, this, this, is, a, this, is, a, this is a karmic school for transcendence, it's not a holiday camp, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, this, it's, it's set up, you know, that a spirit can dock into a physical body, uh, means that within this world you can have multiple levels of consciousness whereas if you're not docked into a body you'll probably be in a realm where most things are around a similar level of consciousness so but just by a spirit being hooked into a body you know I could have Buddha next door and Adolf Hitler walking downstairs and they can both exist in the same realm so what does that mean? It means there is infinite potential uh, of variety infinite potential for lessons, dualistic lessons. There is so much dualistic information and choice in this world. You know, like, you know, you can have an axe murderer and a saint on the same street, you know, and each can give you a different lesson. So, you know, he a heavenly realm would be like everyone's a saint. You know, like, uh, shall we all go and sing hymns or shall we visit the temple? That's our only two choices today. Mm -hmm. You know, or in in hell, like you know, it's like which mafia mob do you want to join? That's the only two choices you've got: mafia mob A or mafia mob B. You know, we're all we're all at the same vibration. You know, hanging out, we're all sort of gangsters together, or we're all saints together. But here, we've got um, multiple choices, and it's constant. You know, constant uh, choices. Plus, you've also got the collective ego exists here. So even if one goes into a level of enlightenment, um, there's still so much darkness in this place, and so much testing. If you if you go to high levels, uh, they'll be besetting. Um, beset, one will be beset by, by temptation non, non-stop. Of course you could say temptation to who? But even at different levels, you know, if there's, you know, even at non-dualistic levels, there can be temptation. What does that mean? So, um, Hawkins described a, a non-dualistic enlightenment temptation, which Jesus described. That was non-verbal. There, there was a luciferic temptation, non-verbally. Now that you've transcended everything, own, own power in the world. And so, that has to be, in a non-dualistic way, re refuted. You know, there is the temptation of the void. This is it. You know, should we stick in the world or not? So those are m much more subtle, esoteric temptations than shall I eat a donut or shall I not eat a donut? Um, uh, so I forgot what your question was. Even. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Great, and I don't want to sound rude, but uh, do you really